Hi guys, in this video we're gonna talk about tamoxifen. This is a very commonly prescribed medication for women, specifically to block certain types of estrogen receptors to decrease risk of breast cancer, okay? The problem is it comes with a package that has side effects. Lymphedema, which can come from blood clots, increased risk for uterine cancer or stroke from pulmonary embolism, depression, moodiness, irritability, hot flashes, sleep problems, a whole bunch of other ones, okay? So my question is this, why would estrogen that your body makes trigger cancer? I mean, your body makes estrogen, why would it cause cancer? That's the question that, that you need to ask your doctor, okay? And to answer that, I got this book right through here, The Book of Toxicology, which is the study of poisons, okay? So my belief is that the estrogen that's causing breast cancer is not necessarily triggered by your own estrogen. It's from some environmental estrogen, okay? Now, that environmental estrogen can also cause your glands to produce more estrogen, and that can trigger cancer, but I really don't think it's an internal problem. It's an external problem. In the environment, there are these things called, on page 674, endocrine disruptors. Because this book is all about pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, heavy metals, all these chemicals and the diseases it creates, well, a lot of these chemicals uh, basically mimic estrogen in their function. Not to mention the estrogen that women take from birth control pills, hormone replacement therapy, those type of things. But I'm even talking about the chemicals that mimic estrogen. I believe because we're so exposed to these chemicals, that's really what's triggering the problem directly from the environment and indirectly from triggering your own glands. Like for example, the ovary. If the environmental estrogen triggers your ovary, that can cause your ovary to produce too much estrogen. Now you're estrogen dominant, and then that, that can set you up for certain types of cancer. And if you do research on what cruciferous foods can do for estrogen, and specifically estrogen dominance and how it can dismantle certain harmful estrogens and promote your good estrogens, it's amazing. So I put some important links down below so you can start doing some research on the powerful effects of what cruciferous can do on balancing estrogen in your body. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, hey listen, I created a pretty amazing evaluation quiz down below that actually analyzes your symptoms to find the cause, the root cause of all of your symptoms, the most likely cause. So take the quiz now and we'll send you a report.